Could you please stop sending all of your shots directly over their army? There's a huge, huge bunch of guys here. You should be able to hit some of them. Okay, guys, welcome back. And if I sound ever so slightly excited, it's because... You see, I'm, I'm not actually ready to bring you guys back for a battle or anything, but we do have a papal election to go through. So let's take a look at how things stand. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. So let's see. If Sicily throws its votes to Venice, we'll be tied. Now they are our allies. So I imagine they throw their votes to us, but I guess... Actually, I think we're their only ally, too, right? Greetings, friends. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess they're allied with the Byzantine Empire as well, but I don't think we need to worry about that. Demand cardinal votes. I assume we'd have to pay them, though, right? It would be nice if we could just kind of secure... Their votes for sure. Like, I gave them... I don't know. I have no idea what they're worth, so just... Here's a thousand. What do you think of that? Oh, very demanding. Okay, well, you know what? They'll probably give me the votes anyway, so I don't think we need to, to talk with them. I mean, because they're not allied or anything with Denmark, so they should give the votes to us. So, let's just run through it and see what happens. Well, what do you know? <laughs> it certainly took a while, but there it is. Finally, the Pope is my man. Not just someone I voted for, but actually one of my cardinals. Which? Let's see, hostilities cease. Oh. Oh, right, because Sicily voted for them as well, so... I assume... Yeah, his standing actually isn't so bad. And of course, Venice is no longer excommunicated. But... They're still not very happy. Or rather, the Pope is not very happy with him. And he's nice and young, too, so he should be around for a while. And of course, the Pope sees me as an inspiration. And all of my enemies have now suddenly lost their crosses. Which, by the way, um, I should mention, Poland is now no longer a friend. In fact, they are an enemy. Because uh, you see, uh, they joined the Crusade. And uh, naturally, that means they became my enemy. So they were no longer my ally. So now Sicily is my last remaining ally. Of course, that crusade is now canceled uh, because the Pope is dead, as is my excommunication. So now there is happiness throughout the land. You know, that 20% penalty we were getting the whole time is now gone. Or it will be. I haven't really checked everything. And, of course, we're now in the Pope's good graces. So, hooray, hooray, hooray. Absolutely hooray. Uh, faction reconciled. Oh, that would be Sicily, yes. And the Papal States is... I've never thought I would see this message occur. Ever. <laughs> all right. But, anyway. Uh, that's all for now. Um, again, I didn't have a battle or anything. I just wanted you guys to see the election. So, I will bring you back once more as something of interest occurs. Okay, guys. Welcome back. So, let's just get some campaign map stuff out of the way. You guys already saw that we had a papal election, so I won't go over that. Just know that we are finally in the Pope's good graces, and there's no crusade against us, and it is now our enemies who have to look over their shoulders instead of us looking over ours when it comes to wondering if the Pope is going to throw some unfortunate mission our way. Or at least I assume that's the case. 
Like, seriously, if I'm now, now that I'm in the Pope's good graces, if he keeps giving me missions saying to leave the other Catholic factions alone, I'm going to be so annoyed. But then again, since I am in his good graces, I assume disobeying would not actually get me excommunicated. I assume I would just lose a couple of crosses, maybe. And to be honest, I am actually still kind of expecting to lose crosses. Like, I'm not entirely sure how this works. But I do think that just because he's my guy, it doesn't mean that he'll just, like, let me do literally whatever I want. I assume that attacking other, you know, Catholic factions and stuff will still start to see these crosses, you know, start to fall. So I need to use this opportunity while I have it to crush as many of my enemies as possible. Now, let's see. Speaking of uh, enemies... The Turks are not our enemies. Not yet. But I, as you can see, they have started marching troops into my territory. My newly acquired territory, no less. And that uh, makes me a little nervous. I mean, I, it's not like the end of the world or anything if they take Adana. It's just that I don't want to fight the Turks yet. I still have a couple of rebel settlements. And, and there's Baghdad over there that, you know, I could take before actually having to fight the Turks. And remember, we are very close at this point to... Er, Pretty close. Pretty close at this point to being done with this campaign, so... You know, I don't feel like I need to gain another enemy. You know, the, the, we're, we're doing pretty good. We've got, uh, you know, a reasonable list of enemies as it is. We don't need it added to in any way, frankly. But anyway, Morkar is heading to Damascus, and I'm hoping that I can quickly take it before the Turks do anything stupid. Really, really stupid. Because, yeah, if they do attack Adana, I mean, I might still just go for Damascus and then turn around and go back for Adana, but that would oh, that would be so annoying. Especially since you guys are... Aren't, aren't the Turks at war with the Byzantines? Yes, you are. Look, look, you've got all of these enemies here. Do you really, really want to pick a fight with me as well? I, I think that would be unwise. I think that's a bad idea. So how about you just go away? Depart. Beat it. Now, I have one of my spies here following the Mongols around because I, I don't know what exactly they're doing. I'm just kind of, I don't know, going around in circles. So we're just going to follow them around and see where they go, what they do, if anything. And I guess uh, that's actually really it here. Not a whole lot going on. Just everyone's a lot happier now because we don't have that, that penalty due to excommunication. Which is certainly nice. Now, here is one of the battles that we are going to fight this turn. I dropped off uh, the other Morkar here on the Iberian Peninsula, and I literally dropped him right into the face of Portugal's army here. Um, maybe I should have actually dropped off my spy first. <laughs> and, and had him just do a quick scout ahead to make sure there was uh, nothing that I was going to be landing on top of. I assumed everyone would be in here. But apparently that's not the case. So anyway, we are going to try and attack this army, and I assume that they'll want to fight. It's a considerable force, so I don't see why not. And that would draw out the garrison at Lisbon, and so I'm hoping we can actually take out Portugal this very turn. I'm also hoping that they don't retreat, because otherwise I think... I think uh, Morkar here is, would actually be caught by Lisbon's, like, zone of control, and he wouldn't be able to actually chase the faction heir. So, yeah. I hope I hope they stick around for that fight. Now, the king has slightly retooled his army. I actually took the hus Hospitaller Knights from uh, the Prince's army here and traded them for the Mailed Knights. So he actually has the Hospitaller Knights now, plus the Feudal Knight. He replenished a little bit too, and I even got him a, a trebuchet uh, from Toledo. And so now we're marching our way over to... The last Spanish settlement over here. Though it looks like we'll have to go through His Majesty first. I think you will find that that is not something that I have any problem with. Now let's see, what else is going on over here? Honestly, I don't think too much is going on over here. We defeated uh, some rebel forces, so I think uh, my lands are actually mostly rebel free now. Oh, except for that... That little force there. Ah. I forgot about them. 
I actually have forces nearby to take them out too. Maybe I'll do that off camera once I'm done with the battles for this turn. Really tiny battle like that. I don't think you guys need to see it. All right. Now the other battle that we are going to be fighting is uh, Samuel's army versus this Imperial army here. I was actually hoping that the Empire would attack me here on the bridge, but I'll be honest, that's just not happening. They keep moving forces like close by, but never actually attacking. So I think uh, when they put forces, like sizable forces in my way here, I do need to attack them and take them out. Because otherwise we're just going to be stuck here for the rest of eternity and just never be able to move from this spot. Now I did drop off a couple of generals here from the general army when they were over here. They've They've moved all the way over here now. But I dropped off a couple of them here just to take command of the backup army. And since I have so many, like, spare generals, I just decided to drop off a couple of them, because why not? So that's the two battles. Uh, Samuel versus this Imperial army, and the other Morcar versus Portugal. And hopefully, maybe even the end of Portugal. Now, Richard's army over here, he actually killed the king of Denmark. He was just like, in the road by himself. And I mean, just him and his bodyguard. So we attacked him, and I literally just put my my retinue, or my yeoman archers, out in front with their wooden stakes, and had the trebuchets right behind them, and we just, like, pow just obliterated him with fire. But he still made it to our lines, and then he just ran right onto the stakes. I don't think I even lost a single guy. But uh, he had, like, 60 of his own knights, and they just all died. So anyway, Richard is on his way to Stockholm. He will be there shortly. And this garrison will not stand against his army. Definitely not. So we'll take Stockholm very, very soon. All right, so uh, where to begin? It's either this battle or the one to eliminate Portugal. And I guess since we're here, I don't think it really matters which one we do first. Let's start with this one. I mean, a lot of bad units, but a few good units here and there, like those mailed knights and the armored sergeants. I mean, even the sergeant spearmen aren't bad. Peasants are bad. Spear militia aren't particularly good. Even the archers aren't particularly good either. But anyway, let's take this to the battle map. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. And unfortunately, these forces are not where our forces are positioned. This is actually the enemy. This is my forces down here. I actually fought on this battlefield a couple of times against some of the smaller Imperial forces, and it's very disadvantageous to us. I was actually hoping this would be one of the times where the AI would just kind of charge forward to come and get us, but it looks like that's not going to happen. So we're going to have to shift position here. What I'm thinking is, is trying to get my guys up on the hill here, hopefully without being shot. Uh, they can definitely fire further now since they're on a hill, though, so this could be somewhat annoying. I did deploy stakes because I, I knew they had cavalry and I thought we might actually have to worry about that, but looks like uh, that's not going to be something we need to worry about. So what we're going to do is... See, I don't want to go directly from my position to that hill, because I'm pretty sure they could probably hit us if we did that. So let's just go, let's say right over here. Uh, let me see that again. Yeah, and then we can shift position and kind of go up this way instead. But anyway, it's going to be a bit before battle is actually joined, so I will bring you guys back uh, once we are in a bit more of a suitable position to go and attack our enemy. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, very unfortunately, um, we're in kind of a situation where we're just going to have to kind of charge the enemy up this hill, and I'm not very happy about that, but kind of is what it is. Basically... Um, down there is where we started the battle. You can even see the, well, maybe you guys can see it here. There's there's wooden stakes right here in the ground from where we began. And we just kind of went up the hill over here and then turned around and went up over here. 
I had my catapults go out and ahead just to see how close we had to get in order to like start bombarding them. But unfortunately, as you can see, the enemy is coming off the hill and is going to start shooting at us. And so that's why I think we're just going to have to give them the good old charge. Because, uh, well, I mean, I guess what we could do is have an archer duel with their guys, but I'm not sure I like that idea. Then again, that might still be a better idea, though. Like, let's say we have the catapults. Let's say we have the catapults attack these guys here, right? And yes, they'll have to move closer in order to do that, but they're already going to be shot anyway, so what difference does it make? Then we have our archers just kind of move in here and start shooting at these guys. And I guess the cavalry, which I had already told to start moving, I should probably tell them and the infantry to kind of stop now. We'll move them up, but only after, I guess, the, the duel has started going somewhat our way. Okay, now, much to my delight, though, it looks like... Let's let these guys get just a little bit ahead and then go ahead and open fire. Actually, I'd prefer if you guys were not amongst the catapults. Oh, ow. That hurt a lot. Oh, um, we should actually be putting you guys in loose formation, since we are having a bit of a duel now. Here, spread out. You guys spread out as well. Now you guys fire there. Do you guys... Actually, you know what? Everyone fire on this unit right here. Because they're spread out, like, amongst the other three units, so that might be a better... better thing for us. But we are going to lose a lot of archers here, which is very unfortunate. What I'm going to do is bring my cavalry over here on the left and hope that we can kind of, uh... maybe send them charging in to try and uh, draw away or get these archers to stop doing what they're doing. <laughs> While the catapults just kind of fire behind them. At least that's what I'd like to happen. For some reason, this catapult unit will not fire. Where are they going? They appear to be like they're now taking up another position, but further, even further up the hill than it was than they were before. All right, cavalry, just kind of stop back here, please. That's what I imagine is going to happen. All right, charge forward. Infantry, just kind of get behind them over here. Alright. All catapults just fire into the heart of their army, like right there. Alright, and let's bring the cavalry kind of in this direction. Um, what are you guys doing? I told you to fire on those guys, which you can do from way back here. Okay, well those guys are now wildly out of position. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bring the cavalry over to this side instead. Oh, 
Hopefully our catapults don't hit our own guys, but there's a very real possibility of that. Not sure why these guys got so close. They definitely did not need to. Oh, look at that. That's way too close. All right, you know what? Mm. All right, you know what? Just pull back. Could you please stop sending all of your shots directly over their army? There's a huge, huge bunch of guys here. You should be able to hit some of them. How close do you need to get to hit that guy there? Okay, right there. You shouldn't have to get any closer than that. Okay, can you hit anyone from your position? Yes, you can. All right, well, fire it well then. Seriously, how do you manage to perfectly send that those shots just over the army? I stand corrected. That was an excellent shot. <laughs> Okay, those are the archers that were doing that. Uh, is it actually worth it to even sit here, though? I guess it's not worth it for the archers to sit here, anyways. Let's pull back. Well, the catapults are in range now, so we'll just let them see what damage they can do. If the archers can fire at them, then I guess the archers can fire at them. <laughs> Look at that. Just hit these guys here. Okay, admittedly, when they kind of like... Uh, they almost like like skim the top of, of the enemy there, that actually works out pretty well when they do that. All right, let's move the infantry forward, since the enemy appears to be charging us. Okay, stop. Fire at will. Okay, let's see, what have we got here? Peasants, mailed knights, peasants, mailed knights, and more peasants. Oh, and some crossbow militia. I think the cavalry can take them on. But I can't have them just sit here either, because then they'll just start shooting at us some more. Oh, right, I still have these guys set to fire it well. Okay, where... You know, we could just take the high ground here, couldn't we? This is quite a merry back and forth, isn't it? All right, where is... Okay, there's a crossbow unit right there. Oh, not the bodyguard. Not the general's bodyguard. Uh, you, feudal knights. Go and let them have it. Okay, they do still have some kind of missile unit in there. Okay, they're now routing... Retreat, retreat, back over here, back with the general. Ah, you see, this is more like it now. I mean, unless our catapults end up hitting our own guys, which admittedly would be pretty bad. Oh, 
Oh, they're now charging us. All right. You guys stop firing at will. Get over here. Charge, charge, charge. Get over here and charge into the rear of these units. Most of these units are already routing. Charge up the hill. Go get those guys. Here, get back over here. Oh, crap. We lost a lot of cavalry right there, unfortunately. Alright. Heavy infantry, just kind of get back over here so that you're not in my way. Oh, hey, we already had a unit up here. I assure you that was an accident. There's definitely no way I planned that. Well, I don't see any other enemies over here other than these three guys right here. And it looks like there's five guys over there. No, go get those guys. You guys get those guys. Who are you guys chasing? Is it that one guy there? Oh, no, no. There's four guys in that unit, two guys in that unit. All right, quick, go get them. You guys there. Man, just look at the, the corpses piling this hill. And I know that many of them are actually my longbowmen. I mean, they're not as obliterated as I thought they might be over such a duel, but they're definitely far more damaged than I wanted them to be. Alright, well then why don't you go get those guys? And actually, you guys can have a little race and see who gets who gets what. All right, let's see, zoom in. Oh, it's actually a unit escaping all the way over here. Oh, they made it past the wooden stakes too. Don't know if we'll be able to catch them. Let's see, is there anyone else over here? It doesn't look like it. Now we need to be careful though. The wooden stakes are down here. But I don't think we're going to catch them. Oh, well, we might. We might. Just want to make sure they all make it past this the wooden stakes. Oh, okay. They've made it off the battlefield. Of great virtue and valor. All right, well, that was uh, touch and go for quite a while there. Catapults actually did pretty well, considering how much grief I was giving them for throwing shot over the army. Again, it was it was kind of a weird position where 
it, they could almost like fire their shots in such a way where it'll either go like just over the heads of like the whole army or if it was just a little bit lower they'd actually kill a whole bunch of guys because it would go through like two or three units <laughs> which i think explains at least in part the sizable casualties there uh, the longbowmen did a lot of damage. I mean, they took a lot of damage, but they, they they gave as good or better than they got. So, it's not so bad. The infantry did very little, both in terms of damage done and damage taken, but that's fine. Kind of expected that. And, of course, the cavalry's biggest contribution was actually catching all those prisoners, though they did do a bit of damage here and there. All right, but, whew, that was... Uh, Pretty dicey there, so uh, let's uh, let's take this back to the campaign map. You know what? I bet you they can't even afford that ransom. And it says that they can't. Victory! Nothing All right. Oh, we don't have much in the way of spare longbowmen either. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Though again, still not as devastating as I kind of thought it would be. Um, we are still kind of surrounded here, though, so... Because, I mean, they still got all these troops here. It would be kind of nice... Hmm. Nah, I don't think we could, like, leave the backup army behind anyways. Alright, so what, what I'll do is, um... We'll go ahead and we'll move him back to the bridge and stuff and try and replenish at least some of his casualties. As many as we can from the backup army. But, um, I'll do that off-camera. Um, to be honest, it looks like the recording has gone long enough for me to go ahead and split this up into two episodes, but you know what? I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the other battle now, because I have a feeling this one will be pretty short and we can still squeeze it into this episode. And if it turns out I'm wrong, then you guys will just get an extra long episode. So, let's go ahead and just quickly save. Actually, you know what? Just in case something goes wrong here... We'll just uh, do a little uh, side save there so we don't overwrite our other save. All right, so let's go ahead and attack the prince and find out that we actually can't. He's actually stuck in his current position. <laughs> well, um, I guess we'll be, uh, we'll be leaving that battle then for next episode regardless. Because, uh, yeah, I don't have any other battles to show you guys now, and I, I do think it has been long enough for an episode. I guess if it turns out that after cutting away things in the the editing, if it's not long enough, or, uh, yeah, I guess if it's not long enough and I decide to add the next recording onto it, then I guess you guys already know, because you can look at the bar down below and see how much time is left in the episode. But anyway... Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will bring you guys back as more of interest occurs.